the first nature of spirit is this, that when it manifests in your attention, then your attention becomes enlightened. And you can feel on your central nervous system, on your central nervous system, this all-pervading power about which I told you yesterday, which is the divine power, which does all the living work. is the living God and His living power. First time you start feeling, yesterday so many of you felt cool or a hot breeze-like waves flowing into your hands. That should happen. Then this is first thing that happens when you become your... the spirit means the awakening takes place. Then secondly, you become absolutely thoughtlessly aware. Thoughts cannot bombard you anymore. Because as you have seen here, this <clears throat> on one side is your conditioning, another side is your ego. That covers now, it is meeting here. In between is the limbic area, in medical terminology is limbic area. But we call it as Sahasrara with one thousand petals. Now, what happens that when this center, Agya, that is the center of Christ, when it opens, it, it is awakened, Miss Christ is awakened, this goes like this. And this is sucked in inside that Agya chakra. So you become thoughtlessly aware. Means there is thought which just goes away. One thought rises, a false, again thought rises, false, and we are jumping on the cusp of the thoughts. But when this happens, you are no more in the future and the past from where the thoughts come in, but you are in the center. That is, you are in the present. So you can exist in the present. If you want, you can think. If you don't want, you need not think. But then the inspiration from the Divine starts coming. The inspiration starts coming. Such people I have known in India also, everywhere. They have become great artists, great musicians, they have become great painters, so many have become writers and orators, because all these conditionings that are there or the ego has gone away and you are connected with the Divine and you are getting all the inspiration from Divine, which is absolute. Which is absolute. Because Spirit is the absolute. Means you know the absolute truth. There's no difference of opinion between the two persons or hundred persons. Whatever they know about one supposing some lady is there and you want to feel her, say, chakras, Everybody will say the same thing. Everyone will say that this is the center. If they say so, this is the center, everybody says the same thing, means that they know the Absolute. There is no quarrel about it, no fight about it. They cannot quarrel because they know the whole thing. Now supposing, as I said, I'm wearing a white sari, everybody sees that, all right, it's a white one. So as you see it, that's how you know. And then what you talk, you walk. You just don't talk, you talk the same way you walk. What you read, whatever are the precepts, become your practices, automatically. You don't have to do it, I don't have to say, don't do like this. As a result of this happening, first of all, all bad habits drop off. You'll be amazed in England, drug addicts came of the worst type and overnight they dropped it, alcoholism or overnight. I didn't, I never said don't do, if I said don't do means half of them will walk out. But it just works, it is your own power, it is your own spirit that manifests it. And that gives you this special power by which you are really empowered and you can do anything that you want to which is for your benevolence. You just drop out things without any difficulties, without any problem. As I told you also that people have been cured of incurable diseases. But that has nothing to do with me, it's your own Kundalini, it's your own power. But the Spirit, when it gives you 
a complete, perfect idea of truth. You just have to know how to overcome or how to correct your own centers. And that spirit vibrates with the school breeze. As soon as you are corrected, you find all your fingers are flowing all right, it's working all right. And you feel extremely joyous because that is the nature of spirit, that it is joy. It is the ocean of joy. Joy is not like happiness or unhappiness. When ego is pampered, we feel happy. When it is hurt, we feel unhappy. It's not like that. You are above it and you witness the whole thing like a drama and you are always in the ocean of joy. Oh, that is an experience you have to have. It is so wonderful that such a time has come now for all us to take to ourselves. This is the way the last judgment is going to work out. Last judgment doesn't mean that we'll be weighed. No, it doesn't mean that. It means this Kundalini will rise and she will tell herself what's wrong with you. Even in Quran it's written very clearly that when the time of resurrection will come, your hands will speak and they'll give witness against you. This is what Sahaja Yoga is. Even in Buddha Dharma, they have said that Buddhisattva will be coming. Buddhisattva means a person who will not only make you realize so, but also teach you how to give it to others, to the society, to the nation, to the world. That is the Bodhisattva. And this is what one has to know that even in Buddha Dharma or in Jainism, every word they have described about the future, when human beings will receive all these things. And that's the time has come now for you to receive everything. Without releasing anything, you have to just receive. Reception is needed and I'm sure it will work out tonight again as it worked out that day. <coughs> All right. Now, uh, it's very simple. You have to take out your shoes because this Mother Earth helps us a little, just to take out your shoes and put both the feet apart from each other. Now, as I told you, you have to desire. And symbolically, when you put your left hand towards me on your lap only, not with any difficulties, just in your lap, comfortably, that is, you are desiring to have your realization because the left side is the power of desire. With the right hand, we'll try to nourish our centers and this nourishment will help us to raise our own Kundalini. It's very simple. This you have to do only once or twice. Yesterday some people must have done it or today, but otherwise there's no need to do it in my absence. They will tell you what is to be done. It's very simple to correct your centers. <coughs> but there are three conditions which are very simple and which are very logical. <clears throat> the first one is that you have to be absolutely self-confident that you will get your Realization. In no way you should be diffident. All of you can get your Self-realization without any difficulties if you have your self-confidence. Secondly, you should not feel guilty at all. There's no need to feel guilty in my presence. At this present moment, forget the past. See, all those people who tell you, you are a sinner, you are this, I'll forget them. It's nonsense. There isn't anything like that. You are, after all, human beings. If you do not commit mistakes, it's all right. After all, you are not gods. So you should not have these feelings uh, that I am guilty, in my lecture, if I have said something also, you forget it. It is not to, for you to make guilty at all. 
If you feel guilty, then you catch a center here on the left hand side. We call it the left ishudhi, and when you catch the center, then you get a problem called as angina <coughs> or spondylitis, and sometimes your all organs become lethargic. So please don't feel guilty. That is one thing very important. Secondly, you have to forgive everyone. Everyone you have to forgive because whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. <clears throat> but if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. Now logical again. If you don't forgive anyone, then you are playing into wrong hands, not the person who has troubled you. He is quite happy or she is quite happy, but you are the one who is suffering. Isn't it? So best is to forgive. Forgive them, every one of them, and don't even think of them because it's not good, no use. Why should you think of them even? They are good for nothing. So just forgive all of them, once for all. That's the third condition, that's all. I think it's clear to you, it's very logical. These three conditions are not something great. You can easily do it. <coughs> now you put your left hand towards me and right hand on your heart. I will first show you, you can keep your eyes open, later on you have to close your eyes. Uh, uh, in the heart resides the Spirit. So first we put our hand on our heart. Then if you are the Spirit, you become <coughs> your guide, your master. So we put our right hand in the upper portion of our abdomen on the left hand side. He will show you. Just come forward a little. Then we have to take down our hand in the low portion of our abdomen on the left hand side. This is the center of pure knowledge. Knowledge by which we know how to handle this divine power, how to work it out. It's pure knowledge because it is absolute. Then you take your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen. Again, then onto your heart. Then onto your corner of your neck and your shoulder and put your head to your right. I have already told you about this center. Again, this is catching. Don't feel guilty. For heaven's sake, don't feel guilty. You are not going to miss your realization for that. <coughs> now, please put your right hand on top of your head across, putting the fingers on one side and the thumb on the other, and put down your head as far as possible. This is the center we have to forgive everyone in general. <coughs> now take your right hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as far as possible. Here now, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, you have to ask forgiveness from this all-pervading divine power called as Parama Chaitanya. Now, stretch your hand <coughs> fully. Now the last center is important. Put the stretched palm on top of your fontanel bone area, the talu, which was a soft bone in your childhood. Now push back your fingers, this is important, push back your fingers so there's a good pressure on your scalp. Now please put down your head as far as possible and now move it clockwise, clockwise seven times. That's all we have to do. But just stretch back your fingers, that's important. Now remember, you have to put both your feet apart from each other. You have to sit in a manner that you are comfortable, not slouching too much or stretching yourself. <coughs> if anything, there is 
tight on your waist or on your neck. Please make it a little loose. And now you have to close your eyes. <coughs> you can remove your spectacles because you should not open your eyes till I tell you. <coughs> Please now put your right hand on your heart. Here you have to say about yourself a very fundamental question you have to ask me. You can call me Mother or Sri Mataji, whatever you feel like. Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask this question in your heart three times. Mother, am I the Spirit? Three times ask in your heart. It's a very fundamental question which will help to open the center. Now, <coughs> if you are the Spirit, you are your guide, your master. So now please take your hand onto the left side. We are working only on left side of your abdomen on the upper part and press it hard. And now ask another fundamental question, Mother, am I my own master? Mother, am I my own master? Ask the question three times. <coughs> I've already told you that I respect your freedom and I cannot force pure knowledge on you. So you have to ask for it. Now take down your right hand in the low portion of your abdomen and press it hard. And here you have to ask six times because this center has got six petals. Mother, please give me pure knowledge. As soon as you ask for pure knowledge, this power of Kundalini starts rising upward. So we have to nourish the upper chakras, the centers, with our confidence, self-confidence. So now take your right hand in the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side, press it hard, and here you say, with full confidence, ten times, Mother, I am my own master. Say it with full confidence. Mother, I am my own master. <coughs> you have to know that you are not this body, not this mind, not these conditionings, not this ego, not these emotions, but you are pure spirit. So now please put your right hand on your heart and with full confidence you have to say again twelve times in your heart, Mother, I am the pure spirit. <coughs> Please say twelve times, Mother, I am the pure spirit. This divine power is the ocean of love, ocean of knowledge, ocean of compassion and bliss. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. So whatever mistakes you might have committed can be easily dissolved in the power of this ocean of forgiveness. So please forgive yourself and <coughs> take your ha right hand 
in the corner of your neck and your shoulder as far back as possible and turn your head to your right. Now here with full confidence, you have to say sixteen times, Mother, I am not guilty at all. <clears throat> I have already told you that you have to forgive everyone in general. You don't have to think about them at all. And just remember that whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything. But if you don't forgive, then you'll play into wrong hands. So now put your hand on your forehead across with your thumb on one side and fingers on another side and hold your forehead. Now put down your head, bring it down as far as possible. <coughs> Please bring it down. And here you have to say with full confidence, from your heart, not how many times, from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone in general. Mother, I forgive everyone in general. You have to say it from your heart, not how many times. Please put down your head. This is a center which is extremely constricted and if you do not say that, it won't open. So please, please forgive everyone. Just say that, I forgive everyone in general. Mother, I forgive everyone in general. It's very important. Just to say, now, <coughs> take back your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head as far as possible. Here, without feeling guilty, without counting your mistakes, just for your satisfaction, please say, not how many times, but again from your heart, O oh, Divine Power, please forgive me if knowingly or unknowingly I have done something wrong. O oh, Divine Power, please forgive me knowingly or unknowingly if I have done something wrong against you. Please say this from your heart, not how many times, but from your heart. Push back your head as far as possible. Now, the last center, which is very important, stretch your palm fully and put the center of your palm on top of the fontanelle bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. This is the actualization of your baptism. So now, push back your fingers. Push back your fingers, put down your head. Please put down your head. Push back your fingers. <coughs> Here again, I respect your freedom. I cannot force self-realization on you. So please, while moving your hands seven times slowly, moving the scalp, please say seven times, Mother, please give me Self-realization. This you have to ask for seven times. Please put down your head.
Now, please take down your hands. Now, put both the hands towards me like this. You can wear your glasses <coughs> and watch me without thinking, without thinking. Now put the right hand towards me and bend your head <coughs> and see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanelle bone area. <coughs> you don't have to put it on top of your head, away from your head, sometimes you get it very far also. Now, please put your left hand towards me. Please put down your head and see with your right hand if there's a cool breeze coming out of your head. Now, the right hand again. Please put the right hand towards me and with the left hand see again if there's a cool breeze coming out of your head. Maybe hot, it might be a hot breeze or a hot air coming out if you have not forgiven or you have some liver problem. So please forgive and get the cool breeze. But it's all right, hot or cool breeze doesn't matter for the time being. No. Please put both the hands up towards the sky like this, push back your head <coughs> and ask one of these questions. Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Or, Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love? Or, Mother, is this the Parama Chaitanya? Ask any one of these questions three times. Now take down your hands. Just put your hands, you'll feel the cool breeze. In the hand like this, let's just see. All those who have felt the cool breeze in their hand or hot breeze or on their fingertips or through their fontanelle bone area, please raise both your hands. All of you have got it. Ho gaya aap log paar? Hoi ki nahi? Thanda aya? Tumhare aa gaya. Aap ki nahi aaya? Aa gaya? Again, those who have felt it, please put both your hands, I would like to see again. The whole of Brisbane has got it practically for one or two persons. May God bless you. May God so doesn't matter, some people haven't got it, doesn't matter. They must be thinking about it too much, I think. Whatever it is, they'd all get it. They have to just go for the follow-on we have. Also we have a general follow-on. There are some very good surgeries here, luckily. We have a very good center. They'll tell you all about it. You don't have to pay for anything whatsoever. And you'll get whatever you want to know, whatever problems you have. All these things can be solved. So may God bless you all, I'm very happy. That's what Why didn't you feel it? You didn't forgive? You didn't feel? No, behind you, this gentleman, the next to you. Yeah. You didn't feel the cool breeze? Huh? That, what is he Normal. Didn't feel anything. Wow. It's all right. You must forgive. That's it. Just you have to forgive. You'll be all right. Just forgive. 
logically you understand what I said, isn't it? I would like to meet you people if you want to meet me, but I don't know how to arrange.